Hey guys, this is Delia. Welcome to Big Bang Creative Bay. Today I'm filming my first ever vlog. It's Saturday morning and I decided to take a life cast of my face and decided to vlog this process because I feel like it's going to be a messy process to do it at the makeup table. I watched lots of YouTube videos and kind of got a little bit and the more easier way from each video and the most affordable way so I hope this video is going to be helpful for those of you who are thinking of taking a light cast of their face or any body part, pregnant bellies perhaps. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's do this! So as per my research, there are a few ways to take a life cast of any body part. The first step is taking a mold of your face. You can use silicone powder to take a mold. And also dentists use alternates to take impressions of the teeth, which is also used to take impressions of body parts to create a cast. But I'm going to do a more affordable way and we'll be using a craft wrap. I ordered it off of Amazon for about $6. Okay, number one step will be putting away all the hair that you don't want to lose. And now I'm going to use a plastic wrap to wrap it around my forehead just to protect it a little bit more. Make sure that it's smooth. I'm ending up ripping out all the you know, folded parts, just kind of create a smooth surface. So the craft wrap instruction says you have to dip 3-5 seconds in room temperature water and then create a cast. <gasps> my eyebrows! Oh my god. Good thing I didn't forget. You can use Vaseline to cover up your eyebrows, but I don't have one, but I have thick balm, so I'm just going to apply thick petroleum jelly balm. So I have my eyebrows covered and I know I look really funny but I'm really excited to take this cast. So this is how the craft wrap looks like. I'm going to cut it in smaller pieces to make it more comfortable to work with. I don't think I will be able to talk once this goes on my face but what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip all this um, cut out pieces in the water for 3 seconds and then place it on my face. Okay, one thing I want to say is I'm not going to do thick layers, I just need an impression of my face and then I will build up the plaster later on once it's off my face. The light cast is off and now I will be uh, filling out with the plaster all the holes like the nose area, the eye area and also I feel like there's not enough plasters on the bridge of the nose to hold the plaster that we're gonna pour so I'm going to create more support on those areas as well with the remaining craft wrap. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be quite easy. Start putting on plaster and covering the areas. It doesn't matter if the plaster isn't smooth on top because we already have a mold ready inside. So I just popped my mold in this bowl and I used baby clothes for extra support and what I'm gonna do next is pour plaster into the mold. I will be mixing two parts of plaster with one part of water. I don't even know what the consistency has to be but this is how it looks um, in my case so what I'm gonna do before I pour it into the mold I'm going to spray it with non-stick cooking spray all around okay this took a lot more plaster than I was thinking it would um, it took about four pounds half of the packaging you kind of want to shake a little bit so that it gets into the details of the mold. Now we have to wait 24 hours for 
plaster to dry and then we can cut this part out. So I couldn't wait and decided to check on my cast. It's been about an hour and a half and it's really warm but the plaster that I poured inside of the mold is already hardened but the mold itself isn't quite hard yet so I'm gently removing it while it's wet. So this is something that I came up with. I think it's much easier to remove it when it's relatively soft but you have to be really, mm -hmm. but you have to be really careful because the cast hasn't hardened yet so this is very risky what it's I'm attempting risky. It's mm. risky. so I got the craft wrap removed you have to be really careful by the detailed places like around the nose but it was so much easier to remove it like this because it's still sort of wet you can actually put this cast away to cure for 24 hours or um, you can sandpaper while it's wet that way there won't be as much dust I will try to sandpaper and kind of like smooth the surface out while it's kind of still wet but um, if it doesn't work out I'm gonna let it cure okay this is the progress so far one of the benefits doing a sandpaper while the cast is still wet is that you can just scrape with your nails to fix any bumps <laughs> Cast is ready and I am going to co cover it with a wood glue. Here is the one that I have. I don't know if I have to wait till it fully dries or I'm just gonna go for it. Now I'm just gonna let it dry and then go over with the glue two three coats more and the uh, like, cast yes, is ready. Mm -hmm.